So, well, hi everyone, and uh, here we are again, Linda and I, and first order of business is happy birthday, Linda. Thank you, thank you. Which I admit you had to remind me, which That's is not, okay. a, not a good sign when you're an astrologer. Doesn't remember. I know, then you really, you really begin to wonder. You know, I know, when I was young, I used to love the birthday messages and stuff. Now, I, people are so kind, I tell you. But I really, you know, my idea of a good time is just chillaxing, eating in my chair and watching TV. Yeah, I know. I got yeah. my my vaccine today. Oh, you did? What What's your experience of that, by the way? Because I've noticed every single shot. I had one recently. And I always go through about 12 hours where I don't feel great. You know, it has to get through me. Which ha You mean the uh, the vaccine for the COVID? Yeah. Yeah, the vaccine for I've the COVID. I've never had, but my kids get real sick. In fact, I don't bug them to get revaccinated. They they really get sick. Jacob has terrible chest pains. And I yeah. said, that's it. Just forget about it. Just keep a mask on. Stay away. I mean, it's become more subtle. I remember the, the first... Uh, this the second time and then the first shot they were much more pronounced now it's a lot more subtle but it's still that sense that how something long weird after, how long after the well it was mine was um in the afternoon on friday around 2 p.m i didn't notice anything friday until i went to sleep i was fine it's up it's when i woke up in the morning from about eight to about eight in the morning till 6 p.m i felt strange and you know out of sorts and yeah. it, I, like something was trying to work itself out and then finally it, I so felt uh i uh it's 120 right now and i got my um my injection at 9 a.m this morning so mm. we'll see how i feel tomorrow we're we just signed up with uh sean to do a little post debate take he'll take a look at the polls and uh, we're doing that at what time? But it's not going to be live, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, it'll be around this time, but roughly, you know, the same yeah, time range. Yeah, probably 12 noon Pacific. And so I'm going to get them out like that. We don't mess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Speedy. So what's your sense? What do you, What do you, What is your well, feeling? Well, two things, and I've told it on a little show that I did that just uh, coming up now. There's two things, two hits I got from my guides. And when I get those hits, they tend to be true. Although I think I was pushing that Biden was going to be good. And remember, you looked and you had, there was some aspect there that you were like, you know. So, but I will say, first of all, they were saying that Trump is going back up in the polls. Nonsense. Not going to happen. That's what I was told. I was told that insiders that really want him to look good they're going to act like he, it's a close call but it's going to be very shocking to everyone how what a not close call it is maybe mm -hmm. in like arkansas or something but anyway and then they also told me um as far as the debate i got a couple of hits i see her really grounding herself and being very firm mm -hmm. i see the commentators or the people that are interviewing um almost have to shut him down or tell him to knock it off. And then he almost gets that you're very rude people. Do you know how he does? I see her. She's bringing a couple of people that were in his administration to be there. I, really? But that was in no Trump's administration. Yeah, you can have guests and she's bringing a couple of Trumpers. Oh, uh, okay. Former Trumpers to be there. I hope one of them is Pence. I hope the other two are Liz and her father. <laughs> or, you know, even the women that he has saw. Remember he pulled out with uh, Hillary? With Bill, Bill and Hillary, yeah. No, for sure. For sure. So yeah. um, my feeling is that when it's done, we're going to be very, very satisfied. Well, the one thing that has me most uh, optimistic is that is my pessimism about him in that the swath from right around now, tomorrow, you know, into the 23rd. So we're looking at, you know, a good close to two weeks is, is Mars going through a place he just doesn't like. I know this about this guy. And you remember I said in prior talks that 
that might have been the sentencing, but now there's no sentencing. Right. And with Trump, I mean, think about Trump is you probably have heard that he's become more unhinged in the last week or so. He's saying some really crazy things about uh, rounding up immigrants, how it's going to be bloody, uh, you know, really how stuff its way out there. What makes the other side go for him? Yeah, but you, and my point being, though, that what else can this guy say that would correlate with the insanity that he's reaching for? What makes the most sense to me is that he's raging about something that he's not happy about, right? And even right. if it turned out that the debate, people said, well, it was closer to a draw than someone really being superior to the other, something about it rubs him the wrong way or something, because these, this period moving, we're moving into is no good at all. And he's going to continue with his aggression, because that's what Mars yeah. does. Mars is a combative fighting planet. He wears it on his sleeve. And so that's that's kind of to be expected, right? And then the thing is, in the near thing, like if you look at up really close, I agree with you on Kamala being very grounded because she has a couple of placements that are very much like that for communicating, for saying what you mean, you know, and getting it across. But you also see in there that he is going to be a bit lax, which is normal for him, you know, overconfident. Like he's got yeah. smooth enough energy to just say things. And hers is set up to either get confronted and then punch back or starting the confronting. But the energy of confrontation is definitely there with her. It's yeah, totally I there. Yeah, I feel her really get. And can I tell you, he's going to leave out of there bragging that he won, which he always does. But he didn't because I see people listen to her. Well, you know, that's that's where one of the things that always happens, though, if you remember from prior debates, is that you get uh, instant polls that they do. And it's pretty hard to say you win if the, the poll says otherwise. And, you know, so it's unlikely that that would be the case. But I even see the moderators telling him to calm down or telling him, sir, that's not true. Really? Hmm. Well, I that saw would be, that. so I, I could be wrong. But... That would be different than uh, what it, what uh, CNN did because CNN was totally, you know. Oh, CNN didn't do it, but that's why they're going to do it because they saw CNN got a what for. Yeah, yeah, that okay. would make and sense. And they'll have some of the facts there. But even this, they're eating your kitty cats and your ducks. And yeah, that's the latest, Colorado. yeah. Colorado, is it, where is it at in Colorado? Where is it where the Haitians are going? I think it might be Ohio. It's somewhere in there, oh, yeah. I, anyway, the United, uh, the farm workers all made a statement saying, this is absolutely not true. And these are some of the hardest working people they bring your vegetables and everything to the table. We hire them in groups because they do so good. Yeah, no, and I and see the thing is that the the problem with the era we're in is that these guys can do stuff that's for their base. And Trump is notorious for this. He doesn't play to the middle. He just keeps throwing red meat at his base, and then he doesn't want that brought up in the debate. This is why, though. You know, if if the debate people were fair, I don't know if they'll do this, but I'm hoping they will. That'd be my first question to say, Did, we just heard you say this. You just said something about immigrants being rounded up and that it's going to be bloody. Can you please explain that? Because, yeah. but, but he doesn't want to, he, he, he wants to pretend that none of that is happening so that he can keep it on his terms. So it's always the art of bringing it into the foreground. And I can't imagine Kamala in 90 minutes isn't going to get something in there. I bet you anything she's going to use that phrase old and tired, because that's a way of saying your message is old and tired, plus you are old and tired, which he hates, you know, because he, he's always thinking I'm high energy and he thinks he's, you know, like a young man, you know, he wants to say I'm like someone in their 30s. But now he's the, he's taken over Joe Biden's, you know, vulnerability around age. He's old man now. Yeah, exactly. So I, uh, I know she won't do this, but I, if it was me, I swear to you, no matter how smart I am and how I could risk losing the presidency, I would say, What's that smell? <laughs> yeah, no, that I think that would be going a little bit too far. Starting change. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. So I mean, the 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 moon is in in Sagittarius today, and at the time of the debate, it really puts her in ultra vigilant mode. Like, and and I know I know that. Um, that particular angle, when I've experienced it in my chart numerous times, 
especially to, to Pluto. I found it funny that you're wearing, before you, we started talking, you were wearing that Pluto t-shirt, you know, and yeah. this, this thing is very Plutonian. So uh, Pluto is confrontation. It's pretty dark energy. Like another thing that is almost certain to come up is she's going to hit him with the, you know, you're a sexual, you know, women, all yeah, that. I it's going to come up. A couple of good punches in there. It's going to come up, yeah, because it's highly unlikely given the topic, you know, where the moon is. But in actual fact, this is a great test for her because this to me will tell me almost with solid certainty if she navigates through this and gets at least a tie and probably a, some kind of win, there's no way to stop her, you know, because this, this wow. to me reminds me of Obama went through this in his period in 08. He had a really rough moment when people even thought he might quit. He was, he was so confronted by Jeremiah, you know, that pastor that had said those things. He, you know, took on the challenge, made it through, and it just became an, an impossible to stop juggernaut after that, right? So Right. And she, a, I don't think, you know, this woman has more experience than Obama did. Oh, of course, yeah. No, sure. She knows how to stand in court and add lid. And let me tell you something. I saw a couple of good jabs at him. Oh, no, for sure, for sure. I mean, that that that's the big difference, that if she manages to to use the energy, you know, the tense energy to get under his skin. He He's a very uh, jagged, scattered communicator. But remember, this guy is almost certain to coke up or take a lot of Adderall because what he's doing, you know, sometimes you, you might wonder, well, why doesn't he do this all the time? He probably knows that if he does too much, he risks something really well, bad happening. So that's why at times he looks like he's lost in space. But I don't think he's going to show up in a sundown thing that's what he did for Biden. I mean, that that debate, he looked all sped up. You know, when he's doing that brrr, speed, yeah. that's because the system is on some kind of amphetamine or coke or some kind of thing like that. So very unlikely he'll show up low energy. He's going to be all pumped, you know, to. to yeah, and the other thing is she's he doesn't like a, a woman, especially a black woman. Oh, Didn't for sure. Him or stepping on him and he will turn into a crazy person. For sure, but uh, I think they are, that's a huge mistake because Kamala is not someone you want to do that to. Um, her past performances too, in all situations, you know, she asserts herself, including that she was really assertive toward Biden, and that that speaks to Biden's whatever. Maybe he has a natural affinity with her, but he chose her to be the VP, and she had confronted him pretty hard on the on the stage. I don't know if you remember in in twenty nineteen. But I guess he saw something or maybe, I don't know, whatever the reason is. But that's something that Trump would never do. If, if a woman confronts Trump, it's never going to happen. You know that. Oh, you're in, talking in about Pence, how he reacted? No, no. I'm talking about that when it, in 2019 in the primary debates, Kamala attacked Biden. Don't you remember that? But there was a. Well, that's right. She did real good about the bus thing. Yeah, and and he was kind of you know he even apparently challenged her like on the side and said, "Hey, come on, what are you doing?" But that didn't stop him from choosing her. You know, so that well, speaks. He she, she could, yeah, he knows. Yeah. she knows her stuff. But who Trump is getting to to do work for them is that Russian bot from Hawaii. The Russian but, bot from Hawaii, that female with the one streak of blonde. And and who. So She's working on his on him being able to do. Oh, you mean like in the debate prep? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You yeah, know yeah, the yeah. gal from Hawaii that has that silver strip, who mm. says she's no longer going to be a Democrat. I never thought she was. I always thought she was a Russian bot. Oh, you mean Tulsi Gabbard? Yeah. Yeah, she's like a Russian asset. That woman, I swear. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but listen, she's. A can I read you something I just got? Sure, sure. Some yeah. news. I I won't reveal his name. Uh. Just to let you know, there are several fuel tanker aircraft over Poland tonight, which indicated increased aerial activity from NATO air forces. Two USAF Hercules aircraft have taken off from a town airport with a grass airport near where I live on Flight Trader 24. It looks like Polish eastern border may be being reinforced with what is going on in Ukraine and what is going on with Putin. Expect the news will come out in the next day or so as it looks like matters are coming to a head. I told you, I felt like Putin was re getting ready to go down. Now, you know, Ukraine is bombing Russia as we speak. Not mm -hmm. necessarily civilian 
but I guess they're whatever that flies hit a building, a tower. Mm -hmm. And you see all these people rushing in to get in the bomb shelters. And those bomb shelters were built with secondhand concrete. And they're so bad that if a bomb actually hit them, they said the whole thing would collapse. That's what these mm -hmm. poor people are running into. You know, now they're getting hit at home where they live. You can't tell me. It's just like what I saw. It's going to be Putin's people taking them out. Yeah, no, Putin. I mean, the only thing with Putin is that is that it's in a way the same as Netanyahu. You know, their Libra air sign. They're getting the Jupiter assistance, and so I think in a big way, as far as things really moving, I don't think we'll necessarily see the big turn until next year. But anything you see that is taking him down a notch, you know, is, is really helpful because he's just taking it that way. I know you're better because you've got the, the signs, but I'm feeling they're done and dusted, both of them, before the end of, uh, before Kamala becomes president. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Well, no, I'll, I'll buy that. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll take it any time. I mean, the one thing, the one thing that's fascinating there is that that conjunction that happens every 36 years, which my namesake, that French guy that did all that work, yeah. he had tied it to Russia and we're right at that point again in 25 and 26. And I don't see how Russia with the economy of less than Italy has anything to, you know, to do with a big change other than to adjust to tough times, you know, that you go, yeah. it doesn't look to me well, like... We uh, don't know who will take his place. Maybe it's somebody as bad as him temporarily. We don't know. Possibly, yeah. Although Russia would do well if, if they were smart, they would align with the West because they're not really natural friends with China anyway. They really aren't. They they yeah. have a lot of you know antipathy China towards. Trust China doesn't trust anybody. Well, no, right. And so for Russia, it'd be so much easier to align with the West, you know, and and create a you know reasonable democratic system instead of this weird oligarchic money to the top, you know, keeping everybody in check. It's so much more work, you know, to do that all yeah. the time to be tracking people and and lying to them all the time and so it would be yeah. good for them but i don't know what they'll do yeah i yeah. just know they're in a change point so yeah absolutely and so kamala's chart looks really good yeah no kamala's chart like the the whole point to all this is that it's way more tricky to get this specific event leading up to the big event this was the thing with biden's debate as well it took a while for us to realize oh well maybe that wasn't so bad after all because he <laughs> You set it up perfectly, right? But no, I mean, the thing to keep in mind is where we're going here. That's the election night. There's no way. I mean, I'm totally willing to die on that hill. That chart that uh, Trump is carrying, no way, no way. Yeah. And, it's just, and you've been saying this. And you, no. again, I'll remind the audience that you even said, she's, you know, Biden's got to win, not necessarily because of his chart, but because Kamala's chart's so good. Why? Yeah, exactly. So good? Exactly. Yeah. And, and, and when she wins, he'll look like he's brilliant. You know, people will go, wow, look at this guy. I mean, how might, what more can you do than set this thing up, you know, say, you know, save the country. I mean, that's one of the things, by the way, that's going to come up, I guarantee you in the debate, he's going to say, you wrecked the economy and you wrecked the border, right? Well, the border has an answer. No, I didn't wreck the border. You did because you didn't sign on to a plan, which we, you know, by partisan plan. As far as the economy, I hope she says, you know, why don't you stop lying to people? You want to make, you want to tell us like your presidency ended in 2019. It didn't end in 2019, it ended in 2020. What do you remember about that? You screwed up COVID totally and you handed us a ruined economy with no jobs, no nothing. And we brought them all back. So quit telling people about your genius. You're horrible. You're a lousy president, period, you know? Oh, and I hope she says that. This nation is going in pot because of them. This nation, yeah. After no, and by the way, like he's trying to be a futurist. He, he had to set up a channel and start doing future predictions, right? He he said in twenty, he said back then, the the stock market's gonna crash. Pfft, really? Is it gonna yeah, crash? I'm That's what he was saying. Crash, yeah. Okay. I mean, why would anybody believe anything he says, right? But see, the thing is that is that this is a condensed moment. By the way, last time it was seventy million people watching, right? I bet you anything is gonna be even bigger this time, right? And I mean, it's her opportunity in a 90 minutes is really condensed to get these messages out in a way that the electorate really hears it. And, and the, I heard one person saying this is probably true. The key is that she has to look like she's in charge. 
She has to look that I way. I really right? feel she's. I don't think yeah. she's going to be able to upset her at all. No, I no. Biden can't stand him and really wasn't fearful of him, but Biden couldn't get the words out. Yeah, he couldn't get the words out. That's really all it is. It's it's that simple. I mean, it's super important, you know, to 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 be on. And on she cure. knows, being that she works in courts, the way you treat uh, somebody like him is you don't put up with their nonsense. You got to move forward straight in the in this person's face. Because these bullies will keep bullying. If he thinks he's got a little bit, Hillary was really good at just ignoring them. Yeah, she was. She was. I mean, Hillary. Hillary was just a victim of so many things that happened. The worst one really was that everyone expected her to win, so many people didn't vote. That's really all it was. That's really yeah. all it was. Because when you look at those numbers in those three midwestern states, she should have won that. He won it by he won it by with Jill Stein's votes. I mean, it was a super yeah. close. That's the thing too. He's this guy's won one thing in all this time. Everything else he either lost or caused other people to lose. But everyone is always thinking, oh my God, Trump has magical powers. He's gonna no, the man is a loser. You know, he fluky. In fact, I remember back then you probably thought the same thing. When he won, I thought, I think you've just set up your own, you know, your own disaster by doing this because now being president, it's going to go to your head. You're going to make things worse. And whatever was going to happen to you is going to be amplified tenfold, yeah. right? And, and also the best health care system ever. Oh. I'm going to do that. And he didn't come through with anything. No, he didn't come through with anything. No, but that, see, that's the thing is, though, that how do you get those messages out when a lot of people are watching? Because the way the world is now, either you're in your own corner and Fox News is never going to show you the things that make no. them look bad. And... Uh, everybody else watches the, you know, the regular, or other people watch the regular channels and many don't watch any channels. So if you don't show it to them at the time, you miss the opportunity, right? So right. this is why it's critical. I think know. the common denominator is that he's so racist. There's so many racist people that love that. And he's very um, anti towards women, you know. They like that I'm better than you stuff. Yeah, no, and you know, this is where I'm, I'm holding firm to your prediction. I hope you're right. I hope you feel it, you know, that it's the correct thing that she wins comfortably because the one... I feel she will. I mean, the one thing that has me a little bit nervous is that because we're in the, the echo, there are a lot of echoes to the Civil War, right? And to the... Yeah. And so what happened then were, is that there were, the whole reconstruction thing happened because the election, there was this election that was really close. And so then they had to cut deals, you know, and they, they left a lot of that racism in place. And we're still living with it today, you know, and that, yeah. that would be sad if, if that were to happen. But uh, I could also see... But you know, the, the dynamics of the United States is so different now. We've got all true. kinds of nations. We've got people that are awake and wise. We've had women who just finally got the ability to vote that they didn't have before. In those days, women couldn't vote. Oh, no, so totally true. Vote. Well, now everybody gets to vote. And well, it's a horse of a different color. Totally true. And by the way, that's another topic because that's uh, the aspect today fits for her really, really well, really plowing into this thing about, you know, the how dare you think. Like, who do you guys think you are? You come in here, you know, you you white old men, and you, you decide you're going to tell, you know, millions of women what to do with their body. That's really what it is. And you're telling people you're proud of this. I'm sorry, man, that is completely out of bounds. You know, and people are not going to stand for it. Women aren't. And many men who support those women. That's the bottom line. Well, wait, She's got to say that. The people that are losing right now. We even got that justice in Wisconsin. And they were trying to not let her take her... Uh, to be in, the, it, it, she's the new justice, and because of her, she was able to kind of stop this abortion thing. But you see what's happening, even in Wisconsin. This abortion, this is the this is the sleeping giant. This is when I heard about what they did with Roe versus Wade. My son said there's a lot of problems with Roe versus Wade. There was things with it that weren't that great. So I just think we're going to have a new beginning. We're going to upgrade what we have. And I think, you know, because they overdid it. They're letting women die getting septic. Nah, forget about it. letting little girls carry their daddy's babies. That's cool. Oh, uh, it's a powerful message. And men yeah. don't want it either. There's a lot of men that don't want to have children that maybe they we got you guys already have three kids. What you know, yeah, and, no, and, and what you don't get the choice. 
And what man wants to be around an unhappy woman? That's not a cool. I mean, come on. How does that work? Hello. Yes. They, if yeah. they haven't learned from me, they sure haven't learned. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, no, seriously, seriously. It's more basic than that. I mean, they're seriously in 2024, whether it's Alito, Alito especially, Alito is the, the king of this kind of thinking. But there's just this attitude. Listen to JD. JD thinks that women should be in the kitchen. Women shouldn't be, you know, go and have children and, you know, this kind of thing. He, it's almost like treating women as they're less than, you know, they're not as important a citizen as men. And another one that does this is Elon Musk. Have you heard his latest? That How did he put it? He said that the world should be run by something like high status males or qualified males. Like he actually says this with a straight face. I mean, you know, now he's in the political world. I think if you're doing politics, be political. That's not a statement you should ever make when you're not taking away their vote anytime soon. So they vote and they will vote you down. You he know? said he'll be very happy to be in the administration. You know, Trump's already promised him he'll be in the administration. And I saw one of his texts. I'll be very happy to serve in the administration. Oh, he sure. He's hoping that Trump will win, but he's not going to. No. And uh, if you look at his business acumen, it's not turning out to be anywhere near as good as people used to think because Tesla now is hurting and uh, he's completely, you know, he's, he's brought X Twitter way down. It's worth half of what it used to be because of his right. crazy antics, you know? So, yeah. Well, yeah. He's, some, he's ace, what is he, Asperger's? He's, he's got something wrong. And also, you know, all that space stuff too. We have government contracts with him. We need to get him out. We need to send him back, back to where he came from. Yeah, plus I didn't know, I don't know if you knew this, there was a, an article today in the New York Times, uh, Don Lemon, remember he was fired from CNN because he made a comment about Nikki Haley. He said something he shouldn't have said. But he was working with X for a while and then he, Elon threw him out when they had a, they were doing a, an interview and I didn't know this and Lemon asked him about his ketamine use. And I thought, oh, Elon uses ketamine. <laughs> <laughs> These people are weird, I'm telling you. This is weird bleep, you know, the whole lot of them. I mean, ketamine is supposed to be used in clinical settings and very rarely, if you're using ketamine... That's killed that guy from Friends. Ketamine. Well, Matthew Perry, too. Matthew yeah. Perry was... That's what was, I mean, Matthew Perry. Yeah, the, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's like almost like a horse tranquilizer. It's really, really strong stuff. So you start to wonder, huh, he's doing that, you know, how is that affecting his, I mean, because I'm wondering what's happened to this guy. He used to be an Obama supporter, and now he's completely out there on the right wing, full on with, I mean, backing people that deny the Holocaust, you know, uh, to him, fascist messages, uh, oh, basically he might end up lies. Dead in a pool. He might be which? He a mean user. He might be found dead in a pool. Well, you're you're risking it. You're asking for trouble. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, when you're so using. So John Lemon got kicked off for asking him that. It was that, and there were there was another topic. There were two things. One of them was ketamine, and the other one was some other thing. I think he was asking him about the um, all the the fascist messages. You know, all the so those two things. And apparently, uh, Musk was getting more and more uncomfortable. Uh, and then right after that, he ended the collaboration. That was it. And, you know, he didn't want to work with Lemon anymore. So, um, you know, uh, there you have it. How come right? we don't have Lemon on something like in the MSNBC instead of Katie Turr? Well, he might he might uh, find his way there. I mean, it, it's a better home for him. Certainly, he's not going to go to Fox, you know, or right. anything like that. Now, what about Johnson? You got a little look-see on Johnson? Because I'm hearing the chatter in the... Social media is that most people, you know, Trump and him decided on telling everybody we'll vote for a, a budget if they do this and this, something to do with voting and making sure IDs have to be shown, you know, doing all kinds of unconstitutional stuff. And uh, the, the, the people in Congress are saying, listen, we can't afford to do something or shut the government down. We need to be our people to vote for us. If you do that, we're already barely making it. Yeah, I doubt. I, I mean, I- Senate already it, said, no way, we're not gonna. We're I not didn't gonna. check his chart recently, but 
just understanding the politics, very unlikely because, yeah, exactly, it would rebound to the way the Republicans can be really bad at governing. So I'm almost yes. certain that basically he's going to tell the, he's probably going to tell those people that want to vote, you know, the hard MAGA, yeah. either you vote or I'll have to vote with the Democrats, but we're not doing this, you know, so probably along those lines. That's what I think. Well, would I, I saw that perhaps our, our speaker in the, in Congress would have a chance to even become speaker before we actually change when Kamala wins. And now just listen to this. Let's say Marjorie Taylor Greene gets mad at, at Johnson for saying, okay, we'll do a budget yet again. And he's not following Trump's rules and she votes to get him out. This time the Democrats would turn around and say, okay, we want uh, Jeffries in. Hmm. Yeah, well, that would be an even better outcome. Yeah, for sure. Last time they supported Johnson. Yeah, I mean, he actually, Johnson, he, in the end, remember that you had said this, what you, the first time you were doing his cards or early on, you said, he looks to me like someone that is more moderate and goes to the middle. Well, he ended up going there because- Yeah, you he, were shocked. You kept telling me. I can't believe what you said was right. Yeah, no, it's true. Because in the end, remember, he, he went against Trump's wishes and that he funded Ukraine. Yeah. And- uh, you know, and a number of other things. So he's clever enough to do that. And right now, though, but right now, though, that would be a really bad move for the GOP. If they did that, you know, that would he be all these... the government right before. And oh, the, no. The yeah. good news is that the people in there know that, too. Yeah, exactly. So that, that's highly unlikely to happen. You know, yeah. very, very unlikely. So I, I wouldn't worry about, you know, Johnson stopping the government or anything else. Very yeah. unlikely. Yeah. So... Well, this was fun. All right. Yeah. So uh, let's see what happens and we'll we'll do the uh, post debate tomorrow. And uh, in the meantime, everyone, the one thing I'll tell you is, is, you know, the, the polls. Well, many people just ignore the polls because the polls can just be trends and so on. But realize that the fact that the race is close, I think, is a, an, an advantage because Democrats always do well when they vote. And the one thing that can cause people not to vote I is if you it. are seeing, ah, oh, she's just running away with it. The whole thing is a disaster, which is what should be happening. I mean, I'm aware of that, that many people ask, how is it possible that this this imbecile, this clown is holding, you know, America hostage still at this at this time? Fine. But you're guaranteeing, you know, that people will be very, very serious about showing up and, and voting. And so that's the key. Uh, and I think the other thing is that as long as she's close, like tied or a little ahead, then you'll see building from there. Like, in other words, a tie goes to her, as I see it, not to him. A tie doesn't mean they switch to Trump. They switch to her, you know? Yeah, like, wow, okay. You got a convict, a rapist, and all this god-awful. He was president for four years. He did nothing for us. But yet we still need to know more about Kamala. Really? <laughs> I know, I know, like I saw this headline with the, this is the opportunity for uh, uh, Kamala to sway the undecided voter. And I thought, undecided right. voter, what are you undecided about? You're either hiding under a rock or you really don't have a, you know, reasonably good understanding of people because all you have to do is listen to Trump for five minutes and you think, this guy is, is he either, he could be mentally ill, he could be corrupt. It could be insane. It could be both. I mean, it could be all of these things because it's it's really, really bad. You know, uh, right. it's gotten worse, too, as I'm sure wow. you've seen. Yeah. yeah. OK, my all brother. right. I'll talk to you tomorrow. We will resume tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.